Good day, everyone, and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get education before you start using the real money. Uh, we, we are, it was a beautiful day, nice, smooth, no trouble. Uh, uh, we're going to start with the ES. Uh, this is a very important like to show at the beginning. On the left upper corner, we have an ES three minute. It's the same auto trade. We have an ES three minute here and we have an ES three minute here. On the, on the precision auto trade, it's a very friendly use and it's only one entry. Uh, there is no filter. There is one filter, but uh, we don't even use. All those three has no filter or anything, just the entry. The reason you see uh, one is 2550 and one is 1550 and one is 1300. It's the same auto trade, the same entry, three different results. And this is the power is how to uh, learn your auto trade. On the precision auto trade, you can trade with the trend and reverse. So the difference between those three charts are setting the stop loss, the trend and stop, and reverse or without a reverse. So you can see how things can go from uh, 20, uh, 2,500 to 1,500 to 1,300 and it's all about adjustment and it is very friendly use, not complicated. Uh, any normal guy has been around Ninja Trader for one year, uh, should not have any problem uh, optimize this one here, just, just basic knowledge. So what we are doing, we're going to cover at the beginning the ES on a different uh, time frame. Uh, the, th the 32nd ES, uh, beautiful trades. But what uh, I really want to bring attention is, is to the three range ES. And this is the three range ES. Most of those auto trades, uh, they, they rely on, on a 30 range, you know, a very high time frame. Here's what it is. If we want to go to this level 30 range on a NASDAQ, uh, we, can, we can do that. Uh, but uh, here's what it is. On a three range, you don't use a lot of stop loss. You know, and uh, they 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 occupy you by the 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 PML. They don't tell you what is the stop loss on a disaster auto trade, as an example on a thirty range. This is is not dri dri driven by the stop loss. But let's say if you are using an auto trade and you are using thirty range Nasdaq, uh, your stop loss. You know, which I have seen that somewhere else. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't even talk about the stop loss. Uh, your stop loss on 30 range is between 500 and 1,000 take. That in, in, in a plain English, one bad trade, you can be done over, blow your account. Uh, the principle of auto trading not to give too much stop loss. Uh, also, you don't risk uh, $5,000 because on this one here, you have to put, let's say, $5,000. But what I have seen somewhere else where they have put risk $5,000, uh, reward $350. I mean, uh, I don't need to trade to risk 5000 to get rewarded three fifty, I never seen that before. You can uh, buy a container of bananas, and uh, you can make more profit than uh, jeopardize five thousand dollar risk. So uh, that I thought I would never see uh, someone do that on an auto trade, and it was surprising when I saw that. I flipped. I couldn't believe what I saw. So anyway. 
the reason we are we are we are uh, talking about the three range the three range your stop loss it can be 10 takes it can be 15 takes but the three range also can be five takes stop loss six takes stop loss so on a bad day if we want to take let's say the nasdaq 30 range okay made four thousand but this is a smart auto trade it's not a dummy atr with a stop loss and a trading stop this one here is based on a price line so once the trend is over it's gonna lock it if we look once the trend is over it's gonna lock it when the market is sideways because the market cannot be just a black and red, a, 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 a blue and red. Because the market goes sideways. And if you, if, if you don't have the auto trade go neutral, you are in deeper trouble when you are going 30 range. So it's not an accident when I saw that video. Oh, I'm just putting it for fun. No, he's not putting it for fun. Because when you are using a 30 range, there is a good potential to lose $5,000 easily. When you stop loss, which he forgot to mention the stop loss. When the stop loss is, it is between 500 takes and 1,000 take. And that poor guy have just a couple of 3,000. He could have been done over before even the Christmas come. So pay attention to the details about stop loss. When you have an accurate auto trade and you are using a smaller time frame, which is what we want to show, you will see there is risk reward. That's mean every time you lose a trade, you are given $10 as an example, and you're going to twist it 10 times. So the first time you lose ten dollars the second time you lose ten dollars the third time you lose ten dollars the fourth time you have a winning trade the winning trade is 50 so one winning trade can cover three losing trades and this is what is all about auto trade the misleading what i have seen a disaster by using they use a higher time frame because they don't have an accuracy on an auto trade to use a smaller time frame and that can delu can confuse an amateur trader when he say, "Oh God, this is good. This is four thousand. But he forgot to ask, "What is the stop loss?" So it was not what I have seen is not an accident. He have the risk five thousand reward three hundred because it's easily when you are using a higher time frame like this. You get four thousand. You get ten thousand. On this auto trade, we traded one trade and made four thousand. If I continue, and it was closed at the opening hours, in one hour. So if I continue, what if this auto trade took another five or six thousand? Probably would have lost here, and then took another three, four thousand and lose a trade. Because this one here is based on a price line. It's not based on a stop loss. And trailing stop. Our auto trade is based on the trend. And if the trend is going to switch, it's going to lock. If you notice here, he took the trade. And the minute the market did go farther, he locked it because it was the yellow so there is no such a things in the market and look this is a beautiful trade so there is no such a things in the market it's just a blue and, and red when the market goes sideways you will experience that 10 times a week 12 times a week could be 11 o'clock could be 9 30 could be 12 30 could be one hour before closing time the market stops you know so that's why i try to show a smaller time frame because the risk reward is acceptable it's not to risk five thousand dollars reward three hundred dollars what i have seen this is very unprofessional 
and could be potentially blow up a lot of accounts for a guy with his luck trying to auto trade on the first trade he don't know what he's doing he can be done and over in one trade he's finished this poor guy have five thousand dollars and you put him on a suicide auto trade like this with a thousand dollar stop loss five thousand dollar risk three hundred dollars reward is a suicide mission so here's another example on the three minutes is 1675 and if you notice the three minutes 1675 1300 1500 2500 so what it is is also the pinpoint to 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 prove that to you that the stop loss and the training stop the risk reward it is big partial of your uh, cake and when you are giving away 1000 take is a suicide a matter of a one bad day you can easily blow twenty thousand dollar account on this suicide mission here yes sadly the unprofessional people they look at the pnl and they dismiss their brain from all the small reality oh yeah man this is made four thousand i'll go for that but they don't understand the details the devil is in the details you know so the pnl for the last 10 15 years the marketing is all about pnl and the pnl is wonderful things but in order to maintain and consistency is more important than the pnl itself we're not talking from weakness there is a plenty pnl here but the PNL is one thing and understand the consistency if this market working or if this market moving there is a plenty PNL this is not what we are worried about what we are worried about having a bad day everyone have a bad day I've been doing this for 27 years on a routine week on a normal routine week I have one bad day a week one bad day a week does mean is one day out of five and that after 27 years so you cannot avoid a bad day you cannot control the market you have no inventory in the market to move the market what you are doing you are renting this ES and then you are delivering it back to the market movers you know so you're renting this car and you are delivering that car safe and sound in the evening when you stay on that trade your broker and you don't have enough money your broker close your account close your position and reopen the position again on the globex because you don't have enough power you don't have sixty-five thousand or seventy-five thousand dollar in your account for the broker to keep your position open. We have some private uh, investors; they have millions, and they can stay on the ES from one quarter to the other. They don't talk about day trading; they talk about percentage. So this is, is a total different environment. And then this normal guy come in with five thousand, and and hang him on a dilemma here that there is a good PNL, and skipping the part, what is the stop loss and what is the risk and what is the reward, and it is very sad. So, if we talk again about the twenty eight second, this is related. Why people buy auto trade? Because they don't know how to trade. Because if they know how to manually trade, they will not use auto trade. So the guy is trying to buy an auto trade. Absolutely, he don't have an experience and he's not profitable. Jumping from manual to auto trade and not knowing how to auto trade, 
he's just switching a problem from one left hand to the right hand without the proper training how to manage auto trades is just wasting time you, we don't need to learn price action we don't need to sit in a room pay every month but you need to learn or you need to look at the technical chart for five minutes every morning before you start auto trading if this market moving go for it or for we always trying to find a simple way or you can turn on your auto trade on a sim for half an hour if this auto trade moving and biting and making takes turn on your live account for our members what we say uh, try to look at our market analyzer this is another auto trade there is five auto trades on the signal auto trade we have five on, on this one alone if we look here if we look at the uh, nasdaq es nym when they are going in the right direction and the 30-year treasury bond is on the opposite direction this one it does not take a brilliant trader to look at the market analyzer to see this market in sequence once you see this market in sequence does mean you are okay you have the green light to start auto trading so there is a lot of easy way to if you have a handicap with reading the market you always try to find alternative you know you know so um so there is always a way for beginners to look at this market before they start auto trading and learn how to manage auto trade again guys it's not a wash machine you just turn it on in the morning and then your your clean clothes pop out from the other end you know so this is not a wash machine this is not a coffee machine this is a trading so it's not automatic it is a, a mechanical automated trading require management you know and patient so if we look at the es five minutes three thousand three hundred seventy five it is acceptable the five minutes because on the five minutes you can use 10 to 15 takes stop loss with a very wide uh, uh, trading stop 10 15 uh, takes on the five minutes is very acceptable on any auto trade now to to if you wanted to go a little bit overboard you can go on 25 ticks on any kind of auto trade because the time frame is a time frame so this is uh, something also uh, 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 that all depends also on how accurate this auto trade uh, the the less algorithm on it the more dummy auto trade like an atr moving average of plus minus and this kind of uh, dummy auto trades does not require any algorithm just above or below moving average normally this is uh, require 25 to 30 takes stop loss and that is expensive where when you have an accuracy on the algorithm i can run this precision auto trade on an es with 10 ticks even i can squeeze it to eight takes so it is a cheaper to trade when you have an accuracy on your entry when it is a disaster just move an average a dummy move an average when the market is sideways you're moving average if i mean um let's try to see when when this market as you see here is flat okay let me let me explain to you we don't want to just get happy with PL. it is not unusual to see that once or twice a day folks you know wake up to the reality this on a moving average auto trade this is an, an account cleaning why because it's a dummy algorithm is a dummy moving average when it goes above that bar it's gonna go long it didn't go then you lose when it go below it's gonna take a trade didn't go it's gonna lose and you're gonna keep losing because your auto trade is not built to survive when the market under stress 
like anything you know when we were working with the airplanes we stress out the airplanes before we let the passengers ride in it we test fly it you know we take the the, the airplane to the to the extreme we put it under stress before we let the passenger go in so the same thing here it is not the PNL is how the auto trade handle himself under stress with the market only only and professional they don't know what uh, we're talking about they think we're talking Chinese but if we are looking at this line there is no ticks to be made you can ignore what we are saying but you just explain to me where you're gonna make your money here just explain to me where you're gonna make your money how you're gonna get hair out of a bullheaded man when there is no text to be made how your auto trade is going to survive here how your auto trade is gonna generate ticks when there is no ticks to be made only losing trades so if we look between that losing trade and that losing trade and then on halt and then start trading again on, on the dummy moving average from here to here you will have around 10 losing trades the things is with the secret with the auto trade is to survive until this market spikes if you are start, starting something like this and the market did not spike you're gonna get hit with the 500 ticks stop loss another 500 ticks stop loss you start with five thousand dollar by one o'clock you're finished Merry Christmas when we are going on a smaller time frame going head to head with the market using five ticks six ticks eight ticks stop loss what we are doing we are not trying to avoid the market we are just waiting when the market is going to spike so we can catch the trend sometimes from now till the end of the christmas you're not gonna see market moving a lot uh, now there is a lot of news a lot of confusion in the market a lot of short selling on the on the stocks for many reasons i don't want to get this uh, video long uh, but uh, surviving at whatever i'm not talking about my auto trade i'm talking about any auto trade out there the secret is not the pnl this is very unprofessional to to produce something like this to amateur trading with a risk five thousand dollar reward three hundred dollars this is very amateur approach using five ticks to stop loss and if something goes wrong this guy this poor guy is not gonna whack his five thousand dollar account within a day and he's gonna be out of uh, the market permanently this thing's here if something goes wrong he will have a bad day but it's a survivable day the trading or auto trading is not about PL. And auto trading is about surviving from day to day and try not to get in trouble when there is a trouble in the market. And then when the market is trending, this is the day. It's like a buffet table. All you can eat takes for $9.95. It's like a buffet table when the market is, is moving. But is, this is not our priority. How about What about when this market is not moving, even after New Year Eve? On Monday, normally the, the, the market is a scalping, it's not swing trading. You turn on this on Monday, you're dead meat. You are a dead meat. You cannot do that on Monday. What you need on Monday, even after New Year Eve, an accuracy with a smaller time frame to enter the market and exit with least cost. You don't throw five thousand dollars stop loss you don't use throw one thousand dollars stop loss you know and um, 
you don't do that. You know, especially if you have $5,000 account, that's mean if you're going to throw $1,000 stop loss and go in with this, you have only five trades and you are permanently out. Then you have to work the whole year to save another $5,000. But I guarantee you next time you're not going to be using this time frame. Guaranteed. You will be using that one because it hurts. It burns fingers. Anyway, the ES28 second is scalping. That's what we need on Mondays. Any Monday, even after New Year's Eve, we need to scalp on Monday. You don't swing trade on Monday. Tuesday is different. Wednesday is different. Thursday is different. You need to learn the rhythm. We need to approach this market on every given day in a different time under different stress. You need to approach the market. It's not a just collecting 15 auto trade an hour package just because we want to brag about 15 auto trade an hour package. No. And our 15 auto trades an hour package is just a cost of some other company selling a lousy ATR. You can download it for free. You know, it's not about ATRs. It's not about one auto trade. One auto trade is no longer in 2022 with all the technology high performance computers, algorithm, all this, you're gonna come with a Pinto sitting in a red light, a guy driving a high performance Ferrari, and guess what? You wanna kick him out and you wanna smoke him and you wanna out trade him. Well, good luck with that. And uh, then ask yourself whether before New Year Eve or after New Year Eve, how well you are doing with a dummy auto trade. Just tell me how well you are doing. So let's go on a different uh, than an instrument. Uh, ES, we, we can uh, use it on any kind of instrument. This is a different instrument. Also the same auto trade, CL 26, uh, 22nd. We started today around 8.30. We were done by nine o'clock. I could have run those auto trade one more round, but uh, I didn't. It was good, and uh, the market was running. But how would we know? But it hit uh, the targets today. All of them hit the target. The six range Russell one thousand. Again, Nasdaq thirty nine second, with a minimum stop loss. Gentlemen with a minimum stop loss, 39 seconds, does not require, require 35 ticks. There's a big difference between require 35 ticks of stop loss or 30 ticks stop loss or 500 ticks. CL 10 range, this is a bigger time frame, 1000. NASDAQ 3 minute, 1000. NASDAQ like three range. You know, test your auto trade to everyone out there. If you have some other auto trades, turn on tomorrow your auto trade on three range and test your auto trade when the market's open. Tell me how well you do. YM two minutes, 14.40. CL four range, very acceptable time frame to risk management is perfect. 1,220, YM7 range, 1290, CL3 minutes, very acceptable, the CL3 minutes and five minutes. And uh, the CL on 10 ticks is lovely, three minutes, 15 ticks stop loss on five minutes, this is more than enough, you can squeeze it down to 12. If you want a high, uh, high time frame, you can use 600 tick. With the tick chart, there is a, all kind of traders that like to use fib uh, tick uh, charts, 288 and on and on and on. It depends what you like, but every trader has his own favorite ticks. We have to show you all uh, different time frame. 51 seconds, 1350. 
and uh, the CL40 uh, uh, 5 second 1000. As we notice here, whether you are trading 600 ticks or you are trading 40 uh, uh, 5 uh, second, uh, this one here, they're almost the same. You know, when the market moves, the different time frame is plus minus 500. The difference here and here is your risk reward. And guys, uh, don't uh, get drunk when you look at the PNL and get excited. Uh, try to look the other side of the, the pot. Yes, is it half full or half empty? That's fine. But when we are making 2,000, what is the risk? When we are making 100, what is the risk? When we are making 500, what is the risk? You are very positive when you are looking at the PNL, but you're not calculating when it is neg negative. And the question is, some of the traders we experience sometimes, oh, there is neg negative. What's wrong is with your auto trade that you're going to have a bad day. So the denial is overwhelming here. The commercials and the marketing has blind them that they think auto trading should win every day. And that is not true, gentlemen. There is no such things uh, win every hour, every minute, every day. And anyone thinks auto trade can win day and night is a delusion, is, 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 is something he imagined himself. Uh, probably he have a stressful job or wife or whatever, stressful life. And uh, his daydreaming and uh, looking at when a guy pull a stunt like this on 30 range and showing how easy it is forget to mention can clean up your account in two days or one day that the guy start building or dreaming something does not exist and i'm trying to be as real as it could be telling you the reality is different gentlemen everyone has an auto trade how well you're doing if you don't have the knowledge how to manage an auto trade so let's jump on different auto trade called TI7. The TI7 has a total different entry from the precision auto trade, has a, a huge variety of entries and filter. You can cut it the way you want it. If you have tried manually manual trading one time in your life, um, you like to set your rules how you want it to trade most likely you will find it on ti7 have a huge variety of entries and and filters as well and uh, the es 11 range es five minutes scalping you can scalp you can swing trading on the TI-7, there is a three scalper entries and one reversal built for the overnight called the B-scalper on the TI-7. It is especially made for a Globex and it does a good job. There is a very consistency on the B-scalp entry on this one here. Uh, can... Uh, it is especially made for Globex because the Globex don't don't move a lot. So there is an entry for every day. There is an entry for every hour. There is an entry for overnight. There is an entry for overseas people, whether they are in Australia or in Europe. NASDAQ, 38 seconds, ES, 3 minutes scalping i've been using the same chart on the dax we only have one chart dax i'm using the same chart every for the last eight months i'm using the same uh, time frame 
if you notice on the previous videos, I only have the four minutes on the DAX. I don't have any other charts. You can use the DAX on ticks, range, whatever. But why messing with this template? It's been working for eight months, leaving it alone. 30 second beautiful trades on the uh, TI7 and five minutes NASDAQ scalping 1620. This is one. We're going to bring another phase. We start first with the Renko, which I'm not a Renko bar, but I'm using the, this time we have a Renko in your package, a very good Renko bar, and it can be tweaked. This Renko bar is not a just, uh, you can make it uh, small, big, uh, and uh, I will uh, show some uh, of our Renko bar later on. Uh, this is a normal four Renko bar from uh, Ninja Trader. It's beautiful. I mean, I personally, because I look at the technical chart and uh, I use Renko bar for reversal. And uh, this is a reversal symmetry. It is in your TI7 and it do good job on that. Uh, this is another Renko also on the ES if you want to use a higher time frame. YM26 second. NASDAQ 2 minutes, ES 14 second, ES 2 minutes, NASDAQ scalping, ES 3 minutes. If you notice, the 3 minutes on the precision auto trade and the ES on the TI7, almost the same amount of money, plus minus 500 because of the market movement you can trim the uh, the ti7 to two trade a day or you can have it constantly take in a trade you can activate five entries or six entries whatever comes first is gonna take the trade so you can put as many as you can if you want to you can add not just one entry on the ti7 you can put all of them if you want or you can put like maybe five or different entry or you can combine trading with the trade and reversal 13 range cl 13 range 2000 on the cl 1000 es one minute this is a statement what the es work on one minute this is a proof or show the accuracy of the auto trades and 55 uh, second on the CL 1100 and I just uh, for uh, the fun of it uh, because I have seen this is 30 range NASDAQ I took one trade 4000 and this is an ES 30 range and it took 5000 4950 so if you want to use the high time frame at least if you notice on this one here it's not based on the tra a trailing stop and a stop loss if this trend is changing direction to neutral it will stop taking a trade when the, this auto trade took a trade here so your stop loss is not 500 takes like those ATRs, moving averages, dummy, has no sense in it, no algorithm, just moving average. This one here, on that kind of auto trade, if you really want to use 30 range, 28 range, 30 range, uh, at least uh, do it safely with a proper auto trade, because in those kind of time frame, you cannot use stop loss. Because when the market change in direction, the auto trade automatically close this one. If you are using stop loss, then it's going to hurt when you're on, on the 30 range ES. 
Actually, I never optimized it. It's straight out of the box. When I saw someone is uh, putting five thousand dollar risk on the three hundred, and uh, I said, "What this guy thinking about? Just to have sell a quick buck?" But um, anyway, it was a pre-made video. He didn't. He wouldn't dare go like what we do on the other uh, channel live. It was a pre-made, so he skipped all the losing trade and he showed only the winning trades. Anyway, uh, uh, on the ES, I mean on 30 range, I never really optimize it, but uh, I'm estimating you need at least 10 points on the ES uh, if you are using a trillion stop stop loss. You need at least maybe five to 10 points uh, at least you know so uh, but uh, now I'm curious I will optimize it and then I will show it to you sometimes next week uh, let's uh, look at the scalper I'm not gonna go through all of them just a snapshot uh, why am 290 takes 1200 17 50 on the 8 range and uh, you notice this is not a dummy auto trade there is a distance between each trade and and uh, that what makes it unique and it is very friendly use the scalper the, the, it does not have any uh, filter it does not require any filter I'm not gonna go through all of it it's uh, 17 uh, 50 on the ES 6595 and uh, 5 range 1150 uh, CL 5 range 1100 495 NASDAQ uh, 2790 and uh, 10 range NASDAQ 1340 so you can see the different and uh, 520 30 year treasury bond is 1125 uh, for the uh, the signal automated trade based on one minute. This is on the last entry signal. It's not all of it. And now it just took a trade as an example on the 15 second. Uh, I'll show you, but this is the last entry. It's 195 takes, 2130 based on one contract. You don't have to trade all of it. You can trade ES, NASDAQ, down zones. And, uh, and uh, that's it. You don't need, does not require to trade all of them. Folks, that's all what we have. Thank you very much. God bless you all and uh, see you another time. Bye for now.